welcome you to another exciting episode of Pens in Use. This week I'm recording it a little bit early because hopefully by the time you see this, I will be on my way back from Cartwright, North Dakota. And uh, that's my last big trip before school starts because Tuesday I'm back at work and earning money to buy more pens. Uh, the pen selection's a little scant this week, especially when you realize that not all of them are inked, but... I thought it'd be kind of fun to just to write them down before school starts. And I want to film four more reviews before school starts. Right now I have reviews filmed up through September 27th. I would like to film additional reviews so I'm covered through the month of October. Uh, and I actually have the pens planned out for November too, so who knows, maybe I'll do that too. I'll have to ink them up though. Uh, but anyway, let's talk, let's talk about the pens. So gross noise while I pull this table closer. What you're looking at here, this is a Lingmo Lorelei. I have heard so many different pronunciations, but, uh, oh, who was it? One of my commenters won because he pointed me to a song by the Scorpions, and now that's the pronunciation in my head. Uh, Lingmo Lorelei, uh, A Delight New Moon, A um, Lamy Dialogue 3. Uh, this, is this the Lingmo? Yes, sorry. L another Lingmo Lorelei, let me put it side by side. This is a Rexall monogram, a Visconti Homo sapiens, and a Majestic. So I'm going to take them all out except for the this first Lingmo. Now this first Lingmo, let's see if I can turn it so it's exposed better. I'm still working with one light. Um, haven't actually placed the order for the new light. Don't ask me why, I just haven't. Um, probably because I feel poor because I haven't been paid since May, June, June. Um, I'm expecting quite a lot of checks here pretty soon from various work I've done through the summer. They're just not here yet. Well, anyway, I'm not actually pulling this out to write with it because it's empty. Uh, I didn't clean out the best. I thought I, it would be worth pointing that out. But actually, the real reason it's laying here, this is part of my permanent collection now. I really like the color, but I had a viewer uh, private message me and ask me, how does this compare to the Conklin American All-Star? Let's see if I remember the finish. I should have written it down. Yes, whoever suggested that last week, I didn't write this down. Sunburst or Sunrise or something. Anyway, I know for, for a fact it was a Conklin All-American. Uh, how does the color compare to that? Honestly, I don't own one. I've never used a Conklin All-American, so I can't give you an intelligent answer. But I'm hoping somebody in the comments can give an intelligent answer. Somebody who has a Lingmo Lorelei and a Conklin All-American in whatever that orange finish is called. Which I want to say Sunrise, but I'm probably wrong. Or Orange Crush. I, um, I apologize. I should have written it down, but it's not a pen I've ever interacted with. So I just don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. But that pen is not inked, so I won't write with it. So, uh... I took a nice evening walk down to the post office. It's uh, nice out. The sun was really red when I walked down. Uh, I actually had a package from a, a viewer who wanted me to try out a pen. Uh, this is not it because I have not actually opened the package yet, surprisingly. Okay. That is some hideous lighting. Um... So I don't, I've seen good and bad about this one lighting setup. The good I have seen is that I think I look better. The bad I've seen is sometimes the lighting for the writing gets goofy. Uh, I do plan, let's see if I can dial that down because I can't live with that. Uh, I do plan a different camera solution for the writing sample, probably after I get paid. Um, I have the money now, I just... Uh, the reason I have the money now is because I don't spend it when I want something. <laughs> so I don't want to start that bad habit. So today is August, let's see, 17th? Gotta double check the date. Doggone it. 16, 17, 18th. I apologize. Uh, I am right starting with the Lingmo Lorelei for a reason, which I'll tell you in a second. In fact, I 
did very little writing with this last week, or this whole week, for reasons. So I had put, instead of the nib it should have on it, I'd put on a, well that's a little too dark. Alright, so I'd put this uh, pilot nib on. So it was this Pelican 4001 Violet. Uh, the reason I put it on is just because I wanted to see if it would work. Uh, this is a cursive medium nib off of a Pilot Prera that I have always meant to give away and just never did because I didn't like how it wrote. It's actually writing very well with this pen. I, I know I complained last week that it wasn't. This week, it's awesome. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I have a guess that it has to do with just the capillary action getting established, but I really don't know. But I'm very impressed. It just started working. Actually, the day after I filmed that review. Moving onward. My Do Like New Moon. Uh, one of the four video reviews I plan to film this weekend. This is a very nice, extra fine nib. Um, it wasn't really sold as having any particular size, but just looking at that, I call that extra fine. My ink is Platinum Pigmented Blue. Part of my experiment with pigmented inks. Um, I'm not especially thrilled with any of the Platinum Pigmented colors except for the black, but still, good experiment. Uh, this is a Rexall Monogram. which is a store brand pen made by the Monogram Company, which has a surprisingly nice nib, which I'll do close-ups when I review it, but almost seems like it's slightly oblique. Uh, and the ink in it is Pelican Edelstein Aventurine. Nice pen. It, it's just, you know, it's one of those slim black pens, kind of like what I like. This one is not black. This one is very gaudy. I love this one, though. It's so pretty. Uh, it was not an expensive pen in its day. Uh, I can find almost nothing about it as I've tried to research it for my review. So this is going to be one of those vintage reviews that has almost no information. But apparently you can find these pens around, so uh, this one I suspect is a steel nib. They also had some in, in uh, gold nibs, so this is a Majestic. Uh, the ink in here is another one that I really like. Pelican, oops, not Edelstein, 4001, dark green. And I really, really do need to get this review filmed because I've been writing a lot with this pen and I don't want it to run out during the review because that would be awkward. Uh, this pen I've not been writing a lot with. I planned to write it dry before school started. But I, if you will recall, a few weeks ago I filled it up from this thing, this uh, Visconti ink pot, and I got a very full fill. Um, I have written enough. It should have written dry by now, so... Yeah, ink pot does much better than just filling it the normal way. So, Visconti Homo sapiens. I got the Bronze Age. Mine was used. I uh, cannot. Con I could barely convince myself it was worth what I paid used. I cannot convince myself this pen is worth what it costs new. Especially since the my pen system failed very shortly, and I have learned a trick for, thanks to one of my viewers, uh, but I've ended up with several caps full of ink. So what I'm told is when I'm done writing, hold it upright like this, unscrew, and screw, and then cap it. So all the ink drains out of the feed, and it's just like why? 
I don't have to do that with any of my other pens, including my cheapies. Why? So, uh, yeah, if that was a brand new pen and I paid full price for it, I would not be happy. Uh, that said, it is a fun pen and I do not regret buying it. And, fun fact, since I will be teaching earth science this year as one of my classes, a uh, 8th grade class, I have not taught 8th grade earth science in over a decade, so that ought to be interesting. Uh, but this is made out of, <coughs> partly out of lava from uh, Mount Etna in Italy. Uh, and stone has an interesting property where it feels cold to the touch, mostly because it's conducting the, the energy out of you. Uh, it's actually probably the same temperature. But then as it heats up, it'll hold the heat for a long time, so then it'll start to feel warm to the touch as it radiates it out. Uh, sometimes people use that property for their houses, like you might put a stone wall in the middle of your house so that in the winter the sunlight, because those are south windows, which is why I'm pointing to them, the sunlight will shine in through your south windows, hit that stone, heat it up, and then it'll radiate that heat all night. Um, in the summer, of course, with the sun not striking it, because it's higher in the sky, uh, it'll actually absorb some heat. So, yeah. So that's why people will say this feels warm to the touch, but it really doesn't unless you do a long writing session with it. So that's my Visconti Homo Sapiens, eh? Alright, and this one, I bought it, I used the full fill on it, set it aside, and then I haven't really used it since, and I don't know why I actually like it. Uh, I was a little disappointed with uh, some of my other retractable fountain pens. Not so this one. This one, I like. Uh, this is a Lamy Dialogue 3. It has a retractable nib. Uh, this is actually Lamy's gold nib, which when I do my review, hopefully the lighting situation will be resolved, because, ew. <laughs> but you can kind of see that there's gold in the middle, and I guess the whole thing's gold. They're just showing the gold in the middle. Um, gold supposedly makes a nib more springy. I don't know. So this is a Lamy. Oh, when did I buy this? I'm going to get, let me write this because I'm misspelling it because I'm trying to do two things at once. Let me, dialogue three, I have an actually an oblique medium nib on it. And the ink is Quizzy, which is a Polish brand, Iron Gall Mandarin. And you can see it kind of goes on orange and then it'll dry to a kind of a nice brown. Um, anyway, here's my suggestion with this pen. If you buy it, it is ridiculously expensive. So you either try to find one used, which I did not do. Um, the, da the danger of the used one is the same thing with this Visconti. It, there may be something wrong with it, and that's why they're trying to sell it. Uh, it's also possible that it's, you know, with all the moving parts on this puppy, I mean, there's a dome on the door inside and you got to move this thing up and down and just craziness um, so there's a possibility of something the war, moving parts being worn out uh, another possibility um, what am I trying to say anyway if, if you buy it new this pen seems to go on sale uh, I bought this about at the price of a platinum 3776 now what I did is I waited it for, for it to go on sale, which it did at a very substantial discount. And then I had a discount code. Don't buy it full price. This is not a pen that's going to disappear, so you can afford to wait. I can do that with a lot of pens. Like, I don't own one, but I track their prices because every year I think, oh, maybe this will be the year, and then I change my mind. Uh, the, the, Pelic the Pelican M800. Uh, you can pay... $500 for them, but I have seen them with prices down to $370. Like I said, I've never bought one. Uh, I think they're cool and everything, but uh, just not a pen that I feel any strong desire to own. Um, I guess if conditions are right, I might be talked into it. But Anyway, so my suggestion is just wait. Prices will come down. 
Um, and, and of course, if it comes down a little, you may be like, whoa, they may never see this price again. And oh well, it's just a pen. Uh, but I do like this one. I, I remember complaining when I reviewed my Pilot Vanishing Point that it was just a little too wide. This is wider still, and yet it actually feels good in my hand. Uh, I know they've made a big deal about how much this clip retracts. Okay, seriously, that's it. <laughs> um, but I like it. I can't explain it, but this one I like. And, uh, yeah, so when I re-inked it, I, I, uh, I, thought I was writing with it, and I thought, why have I not been writing with this pen? Why has it not appeared in pens in use in a long time? I don't know. <laughs> Probably because I have too many pens and I've been trying to do a bunch of reviews and get ahead. So, yeah, I'm done through September, and hopefully by the end of this weekend I'll be done through October. And then uh, hopefully I'll get my second light and be able to do my new thing with the writing samples and have it all good for December. So, hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And uh, hopefully I'll have a good video for you on the Eclipse. And hopefully I will have one kind of standalone video on my trip to Cartwright and then another series of driving videos like I always do. So, uh... Until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.